what's in a name in which we call a rose by any other means would smell as sweet but beyond a name is a person affected by its surrounding nature but not necessarily by its past Her eyes are frightened. She's anxious and in a cold sweat she can no longer look at herself without having to tell herself she's beautiful. She should not abide, not condone the fact that people look at her as she's a terrorist. So, why do we associate typical Arabic names with terrorism? Abu Huraira. Annalisa. You are not your name. Carolina. Abu Ibrahim. Patrick. Your name is not a description of your life. Erwin Kuja. Your lifeblood is not built upon the name you were given by birth. Abu Adam. Sina. My name is Edwin. Your life story is not titled with your name, but it's signed by your name. They are given a name by birth, a label. But the name does not describe them or their life. So, what is really a name? You need to look beyond your prejudices. You need to stop label people by just hearing their names and judge them by their personality instead. It may be connected to authority and integrity. But remember that your label and your personality are not necessarily attached.